After spending the day exploring and hanging out with my friends, on my second day I decided to spend it with some historical exploration, discovering more of the Newcastle life and just taking the Geordie vibe. I swam by Stag. It describes itself as a creative social hub for entertainment, culture, work and play. It has food, drink, shopping and other events. It's just a really, really good place to hang out, especially when it's a nice sunny day like today. I was back at the cathedral as it was closed yesterday. I was actually really keen to check out what's inside this gothic style cathedral. But first, a quick bit of history. The patron saint of the cathedral is Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas was a particularly interesting saint. He was a 4th century Christian saint whose reputation for secret gift giving is celebrated on his feast day, December 6th. He became the model for Santa Claus, a Dutch version of Saint Nicholas. Formerly known as Father Christmas in the West, you may have heard of him. St Nicholas is also the patron saint of over 120 causes, clearly a busy guy. I do wonder though if there's a patron saint for us YouTubers or videographers. I think I might just petition for Casey Neistat to be our patron saint. The Cathedral Church of St Nicholas plays a big part of the history of Newcastle. The original church was built over a thousand years ago in 1091. The church was ruthlessly modernised in 1783 when much of the medieval furnishings was updated or basically chucked, which is a shame. This guy narrowly escaped. Standing just behind me is the famous vampire rabbit door. So legend has it, it's constructed to scare off grave robbers. Then we move on to the medieval gem of Newcastle, the Black Gate. Built sometime between 1247 and 1250. I myself am a big fan of exploring medieval ruins. Random fact, did you know that medieval actually means Middle Ages in Latin? The Black Gate then leads to the Newcastle Castle. I do wonder though if it should be called Newcastle Old Castle. But anyway, back to the tour. Okay, so Newcastle, I didn't realise you had so many bridges, so if you are a big fan of bridges, definitely come to Newcastle. I'm currently walking under the high level bridge, there's some amazing views of Newcastle from up here, lovely view of the river, oh, so lovely, so romantic, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to take my time uh, walking across, it's a bit windy as you can tell from my hair going all over the place and probably the sound, but we're checking out, make sure you wrap up. Time for a quick snack or some sort. So every Sunday there's a whole bunch of little markets that are serving all sorts of food. Uh, unfortunately it got here a bit later than expected so most of them are closing. But there's a few which are still open so I'm just going to have a bit of a look around and see what takes my fancy. I'm seeing Chinese, Caribbean, Cuban, Mexican, anything and everything you fancy. Loads of teas and coffees and if you have a bit of a sweet tooth, loads of that as well. 
actually, I stand corrected, there's all sorts of other little shops from arts and crafts, books. Also, I found this really, really cool shop selling all kinds of like handcrafted mirrors done in a very cool and funky way. Check this out. Contemporary Art Centre. I'm going to quickly run over to, to that side because apparently it's got a great viewing platform of the whole of Newcastle. So let's check it out. Actually a couple of places, sorry it's a bit windy, but I actually can tell from my hair going all over the place. There's actually a couple of places you can view Newcastle. There's a fourth floor and a fifth floor viewing area. One's internal, one's external. I'm currently standing outside the external viewing area. It's closing soon, so I'm the only person around at the moment. This viewing platform is so good, like you can see the river, you can see the bridges, and on a gorgeous day like this, fantastic. Unfortunately, this place closes at 6 o'clock. I think it opens at 9. So I open from 9 to 6. I wish it was open a bit longer because in about an hour and a half's time is when the sun's setting and during the golden hour. So all you photographers and other filmmakers out there, get your answers down here. It'll be just freaking awesome. Anyway, I'm just going to enjoy this moment. If you're looking for a good place to hang out for some food and drinks, I definitely recommend this place right here, the Hawker Market. It's literally right underneath Time Bridge and loads of different types of food from Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, Brazilian, all sorts basically. Really, really good. So one of the bars actually serves a whole range of gin. So if you're a big fan of gin, definitely check it out. And loads of lovely, lovely craft beer. In fact, um, I still haven't found a place to eat yet, so I might just actually go and have a quick look-see. So I've just arrived, there's loads and loads of food floating around, it's all looking pretty all damn good. They use a token system, so you actually have to exchange your cash for tokens and you pay for your food with tokens. Ooh. Starting at about £3, ending about £8, and I've seen like pizza, barbecue, uh, kebab. I must admit, there isn't like hundreds and hundreds of uh, food stalls, there's about, I would say, Maybe over a dozen. Still, I'm getting really hungry thinking about food, so uh, let's go order something. I think I'm gonna go for the African that looks quite juicy and pretty succulently and tasty. And oh, yeah, I'm just gonna stop talking about it. And that is my whirlwind tour of Newcastle. I had so much fun here. I'm definitely going to be coming back. Like, this is such an amazing city. I never knew I would have so much fun. My, all my preconceptions of Newcastle, completely unfounded. It's so cosmopolitan, so much to do, so much history as well. I felt like I've only just scratched the surface for, so for the next time I come back, I'm going to have to dive in a bit deeper. And if you've never been, add it towards the top of your list. 
if you're watching this now and you know a bit more about Newcastle, definitely add it to the comments any ideas of where I should go, be going to next time. If you want to know more about my trips, little tips that I like to give as, as I travel, hit the subscribe button. I've decided I'm going to be exploring more of the UK, doing more of these type of videos. And I guess I'll see you at the next video. I know they ain't trust in letting go